welcome to the ACGT Tour Report with myself, Paul DiGiovanni, and Tour Commissioner Travis Salkowski. We are here today live at the Borglum Studio to recap the two-person scramble from Riverside on February 9th this past weekend. Yes, Paul, it was tour event number three on the spring tour season. The golf course played firm and fast, and a little bit of precipitation on those greens made for a difficult day from 100 yards and in. It sure did, and we thank everyone for participating this weekend, despite the weather. Uh, but it was a great event, and let's look at the highlights that we have from the past weekend. The pairing group of Palacios and Celaya have this 40-footer on 15, the par 3 for birdie. They'd get that to go, but finish just out of the top three in championship flight. And off the tee at number 15, the par 3, James Keener had this shot. Very nicely done, put it into about 10 feet, however they would miss the putt for birdie. The pairing group of Jeff DeHart and Vern Renter, six under through 15 holes, leader on the golf course. Jeff, can you tell us what's contributing to your success today? Well, we made a lot of good putts. Uh, we hit the ball pretty close to the hole, uh, made some putts. We missed a few of them that we probably should have made, but we're playing pretty good. All right, Jeff DeHart and Vern Renter. This was Jeff DeHart's shot moments before on the 15th par three nearly aces it. The ball comes to rest four feet past the cup. However, that was one of the putts they did miss on the day. They finished at six under, 66, two off the lead. And now moving over to the 18th green, we have Wendell Watson partnered with Earl Kincaid. Here was Watson's chip for birdie, just missed it, and they would fall short in the championship flight. Davis Brown has this 15 footer that breaks severely at the end, for birdie on the 18th hole. That was the pairing group of Davis Brown and Colin Elliott. They would finish at five under, three off the pace. And not the best angle here, but here was the winning putt by the pair of Todd Vandershagen and Ron Finnerty. This birdie at 18 put them to eight under par, 64, two shot victory. All right, I'm standing behind the 18th green at Riverside. Todd Vandershagen and Ron Finnerty just made a birdie to go to seven under. What they don't know is that's leader in the clubhouse through two-thirds of championship flight. Job, there we buddy. go. Todd <laughs> pulled out on 16 from 70 yards for eagle three and a birdie on 18th to take a one-stroke lead going into the clubhouse. Congratulations, Thank guys. Thank you very much, Thank you. Appreciate it. Congratulations to Todd Vandershagen and Ron Finnity for their championship flight win. Let's take a look at all of our place winners from the three flights Saturday at Riverside. Congratulations to all of our winners in each flight, and thank you again to all of our participants, 112 people in this event. Uh, the response from the tour has been amazing this year. We're really uh, proud to put on these events for everyone. We're very happy to see that they've been received so well. Uh, remember to go to tour.alamotrail.com to see full results for each flight, including the prize breakdowns and everything. Uh, and you can also follow us on Facebook to stay up to date. We always post the results, photos, and videos on Facebook once they're released. So you can stay up to date by following us on facebook.com slash alamocitygolftrail. Don't delay in signing up for future spring tour events. They're filling up fast. February 24th, individual stroke play at Mission Del Lago. The field is already half full. Sign up again at tour.alamotrail.com. And also email me with any tour related questions. Travis at satxgolf.com. Thank you for watching everybody. Remember the event at Mission is a double points event, so make sure you're signed up for that. Uh, to move up in the point standings, the top 50 from each tour season will qualify for the playoffs. Uh, signing off today from the Borgham Studio, I'm Paul Giovanni. This is Travis Salkowski, your tour commissioner. We have a nice interview from one of our players, Jeff Vexler, and then we'll play, display the top 10 in the point standings currently. Hello golfers, I'm here on the 18th hole at Riverside with Jeff Vexler. Jeff is, is renowned as one of the best amateurs in San Antonio. Jeff, can you tell us what brought, us, brought you to the Alamo City Golf Trail Tour? Well, you know, I take a lot of pride in San Antonio City courses and uh, the maintenance and the conditions of the courses have really stepped up a lot in the last five years and uh, I've become a 
platinum member and you know the deals that you get at the golf courses and for the tournaments uh, make it all really worthwhile and you know I love the fact that it's one-day tournaments most of us have a hard time getting away from our significant others and our families for two-day events and you know it's just working out great and there's a lot of events which I like because I can't make every event uh, all the time so I have lots of options. Tell us what it would mean to you to win on the Alamo City Golf Trail Tour. Oh, uh, I mean, it mean a lot, Travis. Um, you know, I've always felt like I've been a better player than my showings in tournaments, and um, uh, you know, it would mean a lot. I mean, it'd be a little bit of a validation of of uh, all the tournaments I've entered and played like crap in, frankly. <laughs> Well, golfers, Jeff Vexler, a force to be reckoned with in 2013. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Travis. Appreciate it.